Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. Max side three, you better get here. You know what I'm saying? This is this is monumental. You know what I'm saying? Like being part of such a part of history, this means a lot. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody out there Facts. who've been asking for us to do something like this for years. You know what I'm saying? Might have took the long way, but it wasn't the wrong way. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, right. We just gonna keep this thing moving. Hard terms. Hard terms. <laughs> our way. You know what I'm saying? Our, our way, our world. Way. You know what I mean? Shout out to ARP, Red Breed Entertainment. You know, that's like family, you know what I'm saying? Big movement, big shoot, big show today. I'm in it for Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? We, 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 we heavy Atlanta. We in Atlanta. Right? We in Atlanta. Heavy Atlanta. We in Atlanta. You feel know me? Gang, gang. So, you know what it is. Shout out. Yeah, yo. Yeah. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc. etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know who I be. Follow me on IG. Vada underscore prime got my guy with me. Showtime SP to nobody that knows bodies. Pow! AKA sold out show. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I like, talk, talk, I like talk, that. Talk, talk, you know what I'm saying? I'm no longer nobody. I'm mm -hmm. now sold out show. So I'm gonna throw something in there with oh, that. Oh, no, spicy, man. You know what I mean? Um What's up, man? What Max out, man. Like, like, listen, let's. Uh, you know what? I think we should be, keep beating the hell out of the dead horse because mm -hmm. horse can continue to be dead. Go. It was a really nice horse. Mm -hmm. Max out three. Was you there? I was there. I was there. I was there. Man, how was the commentary on that thing, man? I heard. I, I was. I was looking at a little feedback. I was. See, I was hearing. That this is probably the best commentary, you know what I'm saying? They could just be lying to me. They could be flexing to me. Mm -hmm. But I felt as though that we really did a good job. Um, as far as what y'all saw, I'm pretty sure it looked good. And then I even saw a couple of the playbacks. I was, at the nah, end I was there. Of, well, yeah, well, we had the end. If you if you, if you you the cop the pay-per-view, if you got the pay-per-view, if you didn't watch us live, you know at the end of the battles, you see Froze, Vada, and Show. They give us a nice good two little three minutes on, on that. Look right? Good, look right? Good. Just look at me. Just enough. Just enough, but if you really watch the main event, watch that main event, oh your boys show up. We we well, we on the camp. Like we on there and then, and we had to enter, we had to uh, say who won uh the battle of the night. Yeah, that's frontline center right there. In HD, in the blue, the boys was looking good. Now, let's talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly on as far as the experience uh for it. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Uh, I appreciate the opportunity. That was the the, the great um uh, no don't say no no the the, the great was being compensated for that. Cause like I said, we like Vada said before, we didn't come in here asking for anything. It was a more of a look, but then the fact that we actually got it back for it now, I feel kind of spoiled now. Now you can't get free show no more. You can't get free show no more. So that's the great. The ugly, man, we was in there yelling. I ain't gonna hold you. Like my, I, I'm, I'm still trying to get my voice back now. Cause man, we was in there yelling. Like it, it sounded good on the pay-per-view, but we was yelling, and, and, and that part was different, and my ass hurts. Like, my ass is deceits. <laughs> That's the only thing that I had that. But other than that, we had front, well, front row seats, but we saw probably the best event of the year. Like, more than likely, this would probably be deemed as the best event of the year. How you feeling, man? Yeah, I mean, it's so many different variables and things that you could take from it. I mean... I, I will say this, that I definitely am watching back a lot of the battles because I'm getting a different perspective. Not as far as winners, but just certain things. It's just, so the way it's set up, right? Because I have to give you, like, perspective, right? Because I know people is quick to say this, quick to say that, things that they don't know. The commentary is in the back of the room. Mm -hmm. The battles are in the front of the room. Avocado, who's a pro consummate professional in everything that he does, is running things on his watch. Like, yo, I need you guys here. I need you. Literally, when the battle's about to end, he wants you sitting down. So you can't go nowhere the whole night, right? So literally, they want you to be there to see who's going to be battle of the night, battler of the night. Mm. Then, between battles, you got to do commentary. And they're smoking the whole time, you know what I'm saying? So you smoke, You whether you want to smoke or not, you're smoking 75 different strains all night long, right? So... You can't go outside and even get a breath of air. The, the least you could do is go to the bathroom by making somebody else switch the seat with you. Yeah. So people don't take this in consideration. It's just, uh-oh. And 
You know, and I'm just saying some of the difficulty, and it wasn't really difficult. It was this what I'm telling you is easy as fuck. We did it and we'll do it again. Stress. But I'm just telling you exactly the different uh perspectives of it. You know mm. what I'm saying? I'm there, we're there, they got this hot ass light on you, and I got leather shorts on. You know what I'm saying? Like the fuck is y'all doing? I was cool as a motherfucker. So, you know what I'm saying? Let me get to that right quick, you know what I'm saying? Because I was the freshest nigga in the you know what I've never, I will tell you this. I've never seen so many grown men concerned about what another grown man wears, but I'm gonna tell y'all, this is, check this out. You gotta know this, right? You have to know this, right? So it was, uh, it was the first weekend of college football. Deion Sanders was coaching. I was in Atlanta and Deion Sanders was drafted by Atlanta. Mm. Oh, the shit just came to me. Oh my God. Oh my God. I was sitting there, right? Mm. I said, yo. I went to go get the jersey. When I went to Mitchell Ness, I showed you, remember I showed you the picture? Yeah, you showed me they the didn't have the size that I needed. Size. If they had the size, mm -hmm. I would have had the jersey on. But I went, I was in Mitchell Ness, I'm swinging through and I seen the t-shirt. I said, oh shit, this is perfect. Yeah. So I grabbed the t-shirt and I had to, I saw the shorts because I seen Dion, a picture of Dion and he had like leather pants on. Mm. I said, I can't do pants, I'm gonna die in pants, fuck that. So <laughs> Yo, I got the shorts, right? And I almost died. I was in a coma, mm. but I didn't die. The only thing, because the seat was metal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So the seat was like, if you ever been locked up, it's like going to jail. You're sitting on the bench in yeah. jail. The seat was crazy. It was cold. It was cold metal bench that you're sitting on the mm. whole fucking night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, Not, yeah. Then, then they got the light on you, like the rotisserie light at Boston Market. So you frying the whole night yo. with this light on you. And you're coming to, you looking over there, the owl, like, yo, is they going to the next bench? Battle because it's hot to the it's motherfucker hot. in here, yeah, yeah. and this light is is literally melting your face away, right? So hold on, I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this. You, good. you, you just keep your thought. You good? So with all of that being said, mm. niggas is smoking 85 miles an hour, and the one nigga came through. He says no smoking the first five minutes of the night, and I never seen that nigga, <laughs> that nigga smoke the whole fucking night. Right? He got escorted. He out. got escorted out. <laughs> for sure. So, uh, I say that to say, and that's just the preliminary yeah. shit. But I will say this: great event, uh, great experience. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't specifically pay up. I didn't pull up looking to get paid. I made so much that the word pay comes out. Mm. I didn't pay up looking to pull up. Mm. I didn't pull up looking to get paid. I pulled up looking to do something for the culture. Right. And I volunteered to do the shit for free because I was like, yo, I don't feel like I've earned anything. I don't give a fuck if it was TV or whatever the case may be. I haven't earned the right to do commentary on y'all biggest event, so I do it for free. Yeah. To wind up getting something at the end is just shows real nigga shit. They had a great night, they had their epic event, shit went the way it was supposed to be. All of the battles, yo, they had 11 battles on the card, besides one being longer than the last 10 minutes of church. What kind of shit is here? Everything else went according to plan. There's great battles on there. Head Ice versus Show Off, Fire. QB versus RX, Fire. Mm -hmm. B-Magic versus Arsenal. There's not 10 battles this year that are better than B-Magic versus Arsenal. I don't care the league. Regardless, league for league. Mm. So, they put together a perfect plan. They put together a perfect event. It went well. And we, you know what I'm saying, we are just happy to be a part of it and to be entrenched in that. Um, I'll say this, you know what I'm saying? Um, it's They called it Max Out. They didn't call it like minimum out. I go max, I go max. That's the reason why I did exactly what we did to try to cause the viewer experience because I knew for a fact that once that fucking pay-per-view turned on and you saw me frozen SP and I was sitting there with that shit on, you was gonna watch it one way or another. Right. It don't even matter whether you watched it to say you hated every moment of it, you was gonna watch it. But I will say this, um, shout out to all of the love. It was so much love in the building, so much love in the streets, so much love in the mall, so much love in the everywhere, like at the airport, everywhere we went. Yeah. When I was going through the airport, when we was going through the airport, it's not just me. When we was going through the airport, a nigga literally knocked on the window from the <laughs> other side and held up his phone Yo, to show me that he was watching the recap. Mm -hmm. True or false? Yeah, it is true. The nigga was like, I said, yo, what the fuck? Mm. He holds it up and shows us. Mm. Uh, so these are like some of our final thoughts from Max Out. What we could do is uh, I'll, I'll pull up the card and I'll let you talk about whether it be the undercard battles, the main card battles, and uh, you know we'll we'll uh, cause we, we'll do we'll just talk about we're talking about the whole event right. as an experience right now, and we'll do recaps of like 
uh, specific battles we can do. Mm. But I just we're just throwing it all in here right now. We'll just uh, put that out. So what's your thought about the event? And we'll and I'll bring up the card. And you can tell me um, what's your thoughts. I mean, yeah, the 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 heat with on on that light. Shout out to Avocado, man. Fuck. Shout out to Avocado. I ain't never seen that type of light before. We got some good lights. Like you got some. We got some good lights right now. Them Abo lights though. That joint. He hit the button. That joint said. Literally the end of the the top of the third round. Abo got that light on. Mm -hmm. That that joint was that joint was crazy. Yo, not to mention, I just gotta show a couple, a little bit of more flowers to to the editing because Abo was not only recording us, like he was not only recording the live, but while we on live, he's also breaking like the battles apart and piecing them together. Yo. He's literally like a conductor in it. Like, like, so that job is hard. Like, that job is hard. So what he was doing, I mean, I've said this before. Um, what he was doing, at, at, he was doing four things at once. Yeah. He was running a pay-per-view stream. He was running live commentary. He was editing VOD trailer. And he was monitoring his social media. Like, he would hit the hashtag for the max out. Mm -hmm. And the tweets that would go, he would retweet them and do all of that shit for them. So he's doing four jobs at once. And I'm sitting there looking like, damn, I'm such a hard worker. And I'm looking at him do four. I'm like, man. Yo, oh, yo. Like, right. And maybe look at it like, damn. I'm Get out of here for real. I'm saying, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing up here. Like, I got all this shit going on. And he could do four jobs at once. Yes. And not only was he doing four jobs at once, he was running the communication back to the people that was up there with the cat. This shit is fucking, <laughs> oh my God. And then not only did he do all of that, the motherfucker woke up and did this shit again. The next day, yo. <laughs> Abo, there is something wrong with you, sir. There is something wrong with you. It's okay. Like, yo, this nigga woke up and did this shit again yo, the next day. I'm yo, like, what the fuck is wrong with him? He didn't yo, leave, bro. Yeah, he life. didn't like, leave. The nigga must have slept in the Look, I was about no to say, Abo went in the car and yo, did one of these. No he just way. did one of these real this quick. This nigga stayed it the next day? I said, yo, I couldn't even get out of the bed the next day. I felt like I played in a fucking playoff game the next day. We didn't get and up until nigga... check out. <laughs> Is that another event doing that shit the next day, wow. bro? Wow. Um, but yeah. Hold on, hold on. Big yeah. shout out. I gotta give us a couple shout outs. Shout out to Avocado. Shout out to ARP. Uh, shout out to uh, 15 Minutes of Fame out there. Hip Hop is Real. Uncle Ra. All the different media outlets and shit like that mm. that was out there doing their thing. Shout out to all the people that we saw that came into communication. All the battle rappers that sat down. All, I don't even need to name all of them. A bunch of people did sit down. Shout out to Gerald McCoy. Uh, everybody that was there that just made that moment like a big thing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I know some people, a couple of y'all probably seen a blog that I did hear about Debo earlier. We spoke earlier, he let me know that he hadn't seen Max out yet. So when niggas was getting at him about his tweets and shit, he hadn't even saw it. But I told him, I said, the timing is everything. Like, mm -hmm. you released the tweet that said, uh, when battle rap do good, we all win. 10 minutes after Max Out goes. So I'm like, I can't believe that you didn't see. But he told me he didn't see it, so I left it alone. Let's keep it pushing. Um, the undercards. Uh, and I don't have to go through every single one because we'll do more specific content on it. Mm -hmm. Who was your winner out of the, the, which artist, battle rappers, one or two, that you felt like did great out of the undercard guys? Yeah, um, Riggs um, was definitely one of the standouts. Because um, him versus, uh, him versus Jay Slash, that was it, it definitely separated the, the clearly made himself a standout performer. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to Def the Kid and Excel. I really like that battle. Um wordsmiths, like just wordsmiths, and mm -hmm. I kinda like I like Def the Kids. You're scaring the bitch. You'll get it. You'll get that part. Um, but that that battle was pretty dope. Um, as far as the, yeah, as, as long as the undercards, um, you know, Zay and Sino Savvy, it was it was too extra. Uh, shout out to the security guard. Um I like Zay. Yeah, Zay. Um, Zay's my. I've seen better battles from Zay, so I like. I like Zay. It's just that battle just wasn't to me wasn't the better of it. I mean, nothing happened. It just was a little extra in the first round, and then it felt like a really long. Like the battle itself just felt long. Um, but the undercard itself, they they all delivered. They all like no chokes, no none of that. Like nothing crazy. Um, cause QB and RX is not an undercard if you ask me. No, that, that was you definitely know that. I never said you know that. The undercard battle stopped at yeah. Riggs versus uh, mm -hmm. Chase Lash. Yeah. Everything else was up. Um, Did you have any standouts? I thought Riggs, uh, Riggs beating everybody. I thought his performance needed to be highlighted. I thought he did really good. Mm -hmm. um, you know, for him, it's been such a while since he's been like 
battling, you know, he battled Danny Myers on Spit That Heat in 2013. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, that's how long he's been around. Yeah. And to finally be getting some kind of just do or being able to get looks that are comparable to his talent, I think it's dope. I think he should definitely get some more battles. I wouldn't mind seeing him versus Danny for three rounds. And this nigga bluffing. Didn't I tell y'all in the second round I'll leave Jay Silent like the word marijuana? Yeah. Well, from that ball, you was in trouble with me. Because I'm still smoking, Jay. And it's starting to sound like a W to me. Nigga, what's up with you, oh, man? Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't mind it. Or well, there's a couple other battles that I wouldn't mind seeing him in. But, but you know, he's lyrical. He gets busy. And he's taking his career serious. So, you know, I got to do that. But, um... You know, uh, you know what we prepare for, we here for. Niggas want to hear about the main event card. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Uh, what your thoughts were? How did you feel? Like, we don't really need to. You know what I'm saying? Go overboard with any specific battle. But what was your thoughts of the main events? Um, the main events was great. Uh, typically, so like how it's set up, because this is the behind the scenes now. How it's set up is we could hear in the back where we was at like where we could stand but you know you want to get a little closer to the crowd so you try to want to stand in the, in the crowd a little bit that part is good but you really can't see nothing i mean you taller than me but i couldn't see much mm-hmm. soon as somebody got in front of me like i couldn't see nothing. so the only thing that i was doing was listening <clears throat> so a couple a couple parts like uh like for ill will and hitman we were sitting in the back. Like, we were sitting in the back, but we were trying to hear everything. And then, and then you could turn and you could look at Abu's screen because you could see how it is. But yet, the actual watching of the battle, that took away from that element. You know what I'm saying? That We'll get into that because I've rewatched a couple battles. Um, so, all of that, but I was right there, not front and center, but I did watch QB and RX. Heard everything. I seen everything in that battle. I enjoyed myself. QB definitely belongs. I, I said, I told her herself that she is the queen of RBE, mm-hmm. and that therefore she needs to. Uh, there, that only the plates need to be given to the queen, and it has to be of service. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh. 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 uh damn. The surprise battle was dope. It was B Magic and Ill Will. I really love that surprise B-Magic battle. Arsenal. I mean, uh, even B. I'm sorry. Excuse me. B Magic and Arsenal. I didn't put everything together. B Magic and Arsenal was the surprise battle. Everybody was. Uh, uh, it was surprising for that battle to be, and there was no predictions for it. So I like that one. But of course, you know, the, the the fight of the night for me, the fight of the night was A Verb and A Ward. Man, that that like, but. You know, going talk about that too. You know what I'm, I, I'm, I'm be, I, I actually will get, we'll dive we're a little break, bit we're better. Not, we're not, we're not, I'm not, I'm, I'm just saying we going, we still going to chop it up. But I'm saying from what we were seeing in the building versus what I saw on the camera, the actual battle on the playback, I have a clearer winner. That's what I'm saying. Um, there are things that went on while we was watching the battle and versus things watching it on cam. I see how things, I now see everything on the 3D sets. So I, I think that a lot those battles are still great and they are battle of the year contenders. The Ill Will and Hitman on that playback, that's that work too. You know what I'm saying? So how you feel? Well I felt like like I said overall I felt like it was a great experience, you know what I'm saying? It was a lot of dope battles on the car. Um you know you had some pretty big, big, big epic shit that went on. I feel like the moment of the year is A Ward's 40 Glock 40 to your face, you know what I'm saying? Glock 40 in your chat's mm-hmm. face. I feel like that's gonna be talked about for a while. And I just speak of it from a consumable level of the fact that he dealt with 85 days or 89 or 90 days of promotion every single day. I'm talking about it got to a point where I would wake up and there'd be a two hour space done already. You know what I'm saying? I'm waking up at eight, nine o'clock in the morning. Verb obviously over promoted the event, but I feel like he over promoted the event from a, a opportunistic perspective because he had an opportunity to make more. I'm pretty sure he was had a vested piece into this, like a percentage of the pay-per-view or some mm. shit like that, because yeah. the way he was doing it was like, he was maximizing the potential, like, yo, I'm gonna keep going and going and going and going and going, which makes me know that the more records, I say records, but the more units that they sell, the more money he's gonna make. So it, it was, he was incentivized, basically. Right. And he operated it to the fullest form. Was I a fan of the way he went with everything? No, I wasn't, yeah. but at the same time, I definitely wanted to see the battle, and I felt like it was a good battle. And I will say this, um, when it comes to Max out, if you ask me right now, I say three guaranteed classics, which is the top three battles, the Ill Will versus Hitman, the Cal versus Goods, and um, 
the fucking A word versus A verb. You know what I'm saying? Like those three battles right there are undeniable. Like mm. all three rounds, all three opponents went crazy. You know what I'm saying? Then at the end of the night, they have a bag for a performer of the night, mm. and you know everybody and the people say it's for the top three performers. But it's what you could think from your mind. Mm. You know, people will say, well, how did you come up with it? We just simply said each person pick one. It wasn't like, yo, we said, yo, all three of us, because what we could have done, what could, I'm going to just say what could have been done, what could have been done is we could have said all three of y'all come up with y'all top three, and then whoever we have that's similar, you know what I'm saying, we know that's somebody to keep, and then we could have just did it like that. Mm -hmm. But there's so many ways you can do things, but I'm going to tell you the way that it should have been done. The way that it should have been done is the way it was. You had three commentators, each person pick one, and you move the fuck on. See, the thing is, the reason why, and this is why I know there's no wrong, here's why there's no wrong answer, right? Every single person that was picked in the top three performers of the night had a battle that could have been battle of the fucking night. Right. Number one. Right. Number two, three people were picked. Two of them had to split the money. So if one person picked the wrong person, why the fuck did two people split it? So a person that he picked mm -hmm. and a person that I picked mm -hmm. split the money. They had to. So that means that your choice was good enough to win the whole thing. And my choice was good enough to win the whole thing. And my choice wasn't Hitman, who it could have been. It could have been. It could have been. It could have been him. No questions asked. He could have got that slot. Mm. No questions asked. Same thing with A Ward. Any one of them. Goods. I'm from Goods the Bronx. I, who? That was my first choice. Yeah. Before Hitman and Ill Will battle, they was all standing right there. I said, I'm going with Goods. Yeah. I said, unless something happens in this battle. And whoop de do Man. something happened in the fucking battle. For real, for real. <laughs> it will jump to every to all three of the top of our list, but he we jumped. had to give three. So we was like, all right, where's your three? Yeah, like, so uh, salute to all of the MCs for bringing that extra effort and, you know, vying and trying to be in these conversations. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I think that that's a very important thing. Um, I will rear back a little bit more to the beginning of Max Out. You know, we got there, it was a nice line outside the line. It was like, damn, they're wrapped around the building. You get in, the vibes is there. They got, no, oh, ain't no rushing the blue room. Ain't no, ain't no, ain't no rushing the blue room. If you ain't got no ticket, you ain't getting in there. Yeah. Niggas have three doors. When you go in one door, you gotta stand there and get checked in. Mm -hmm. Then you gotta go inside another door. Yep. Then you gotta go inside, no, there ain't no way you getting in there if you ain't have no ticket or click it or motherfucking ticket. You was mm -hmm. not getting in there. Mm -hmm. um, Good vibes overall, I must say. I had a great time. Um, it was good to. Uh, these niggas ain't never been nowhere, so I be I be having to realize that I've been a thousand places at once. So a lot of niggas who ain't never been nowhere, you know what I'm saying? Like my man, he, ain't, he don't really go. He don't really go many places and shit. So it be brand new to this nigga. I be like, you never been to Atlanta before? No. <laughs> like niggas. No. No, I've never been to Atlanta. No. <laughs> oh my god, I niggas. It wasn't just you. I was, was talking about my man, but I mean, you, 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 you were the same bro. No, I, like, no, I'm in the same bro. Man. I'm like, listen, what? Listen, so I be, you been. So, so what happens is, nigga, I was just down there two months ago for the last event. You know what I'm saying? So for me, as an old head, you know what I'm saying, with leather shorts, mm -hmm. when the shit be over, I'm ready to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't want to go all these places. I don't care about all that shit. They know that. When the shit be over, I be ready to go to bed because... Number one, we've been up all day long. I'm tired as fuck. And I was just ready to go take it down. I mean, we did, the next day, Sunday, we did go out. That was, yeah. That, that was, was pretty nice. dope, you yeah. know what I'm saying? We that did was go, definitely we did nice. go to brunch and shit. Mm -hmm. And um, it was an overall good event. But I must ask, um, what are your takeaways? Because the good, let me just say, so the good is, you know, the good is the event. Mm -hmm. All of the battles went, you know, all of the battles. Damn near every, there wasn't a bad battle. Not there was not a bad one that I can't watch again. Except for the one where, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was, I didn't say it was bad. It wasn't. I'm just saying that they over max. Let's just say like, all right, so I'm going to pull out something, right? And then this is me. I, I have not done this yet, but I want to look at something, right? So what I'm doing now is I'm opening up the pay-per-view, right? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm opening up the pay-per-view and I'm scrolling down to these kids battle to see how long it was. I want to see how long it was, you know what I'm saying? Right, so their battle is 43 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. And this is an undercard, 43 minutes. <clears throat> yeah, right? that, yeah. Hold on, hold on, I'm, gonna, I'm proving the point here, right? 43 minutes, mm -hmm. right? Averb versus A Ward like is 39. What? Right? Mm -hmm. Hold on, you, know, you can't guess these, I gotta tell you, I gotta hold on. 
A word versus A verb is 39 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Them niggas battle is 43, right? Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of close, but you know, it's still four minutes more, right? Mm -hmm. B Magic versus Arsenal, which was a great battle. I know this shit ain't nothing but 25. Yeah, 20, 20 minutes, 20, 20 yeah. on the dot. Mm -hmm. 20 on the dot. Yep. I could watch that battle while I'm thinking. 20 <laughs> minutes on the dot, right? You can go to the bathroom. That's 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. right? Main event battle. Right, I'm gonna main event, main event, main event, main event, main event, main event. One of the main events, a couple main events, but this main event. Main event battle of the fucking night. That's obviously one of the main events. You know, the Ill World versus Hitman, I'm sure it was an hour. You it know is. what I'm saying? Because that was worth it. It needed yeah. to be. Cal versus Goods, 37 minutes. Mm -hmm. Right? I just told you three battles that was damn near main event mm -hmm. that are way shorter than just this undercard. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 35 minutes for Big K and Young Ill. Mm -hmm. There's no reason why these niggas should be at 45 minutes for an undercard battle with motherfuckers we rarely be heard of. We was Niggas was like, yo, they need to... Yeah. They need to get this shit on the road. Mm -hmm. Like, you knew, make your impression, get it over with. That 45 minutes and then the security... That was back yeah. part of the ugly. That was ugly. The security <laughs> guard pushing whoever that was... And I told you I'm to do that shit. That's an ugly moment because that type of moment can cause somebody to swing and can cause a big shit. And you got too, we got too much money invested. It's too much bread in the pot to be pulling shit like that. And the dude who did that shit, mm. I'm sure he ain't paid for nothing. You see what I'm saying? So that's the type of shit that I'd be like, oh, like yeah, yeah, I gotta hold it down. Like you can't be pushing people and shit like yeah. that. Um, so that's the ugly. You know what I'm saying? Mm. You know what I'm saying? The good, it's obviously the event, obviously the aesthetic, obviously how everything went down. The bad, obviously it was a little hot in that motherfucker, but you know, it was survivable. It yeah. was definitely survivable. Yeah. Um, and the ugly was old dude pushing dude in the back. But guess what? The good, the bad, or whatever the case may be, none of it has to do with rap. Champagne tears. It's just outside, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You're crying champagne tears, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I have to do this, you know what I'm saying? The great was my shorts. Them shits put my clout on another level. Like, I was trending. You know what I'm saying? Oh, but Mac, another, another good was Max Out was uh, number eight. It topped at number eight. Okay. During the same weekend yeah. as college football. football. Yeah, football weekend. During the same weekend as Gay Pride in Atlanta. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So there was a lot of big things Atlanta. going on. <laughs> yeah. During that weekend. Mm -hmm. But overall, I do think. Um, Scale of one to ten. What'd you get? What did what did you I know you was there and things like that. I know what the general public what did you give the event? Scale of one to ten. I'm I i i got to give it a ten because of the Ten, ten, ten. Just cause it, it's motherfucking ten. It's biased, I guess, because I'm there, I was there, I was I felt I felt I could say that that I was there. You know what I mean? Like I, I've never been treated better. You know what I'm saying? Like I I like I, I gotta. Nigga never been to Atlanta before. Like, so I, I mean, I, I mean, never I mean, been treated better in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? You never been there. Like, hey, so how could you be? Hey, so hi, hey. But I say the, the experience <laughs> at Max Out was great. Atlanta, we'll talk about that enough time. But in Atlanta, I didn't get a chance to go where I wanted to go. Yeah, we I didn't did. get a chance to do what I wanted to do. But it's fine. We'll, we'll, it's, it's fine. We'll be back to the motherland. I'm I'm pretty sure this won't be the last time I'm in Atlanta. Yeah. Um. But yeah, man, like I, I, I gotta keep it real with you. You know what? You know another like small like tidbit that let me know that that I'm here. There's only three posters that was given for that max out thing. Mm -hmm. One of them is to a Hall of Famer mm -hmm. or a future Hall of Famer, mm -hmm. and then two went to fans. They asked us to sign. I ain't never signed nothing other than a check with my name on it. I don't really sign. Like, I ain't sign, I mean, when I used to rap, I used to think I was famous. But yes, I used to do that. But I ain't really signed nothing like that. And that was dope. So, you know, like, that, it's like certain things like that to let me know that, you know, it is appreciated to be here. And I appreciate you keeping me down for the ride. I appreciate you driving me to Atlanta. You just like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, nigga, I ain't driving no more. I mean, well, I drove know, to the airport. He got away with it. But he ain't get away with it. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say, don't Drive let them niggas think, Atlanta. don't let them niggas think Vada Prime drove to no Atlanta. Them niggas would be all over there. I had to straighten that out. I drove I in Atlanta. Driving I, around I ain't Atlanta. driving to no fucking Atlanta. I was, I was, now, would I? No. But, I mean, I could, though. I have the ability to. But, uh, no, you're welcome, man. I would. Um, Probably would. I would <laughs> I would, I would spend more in gas than a plane ticket to get there. So that's why I was like, driving to Atlanta is going to cost like four or five tanks. I can fly down there for that. Just a little bit. <laughs>